In this video, I'm unveiling a painting that turns my family into ancient Egyptian legends. Get ready for something truly unique. Ever wondered what your family would look like as ancient Egyptian royalty? Neither did I, until I had this wild idea to paint us all as pharaohs, a goddess, and even the cat as the mighty bastard. I mean, who wouldn't want to see their cat as an all-powerful deity, right? Let's dive in. Now let's dive into the creative chaos that is the sketching process. I started this whole thing on my iPad using Procreate. On the left, you will see my wife in this regal pose. I'm over to the right, attempting my best ferio impression. But the real star here, our daughter of course. Front and center, with just one of her blue eyes showing, styled like the eye of Horus. And then there is our cat, positioned below her, like the guardian of this whole scene. Once the digital sketch was ready, it was time to bring this fairy family to life on a real canvas. So I headed over to a local store here in my beautiful city of Cadiz, Spain. Honestly, it's such a charming place, perfect for a bit of creative inspiration while gathering supplies. At the store, I printed out the design at its full size. Also picked up some tracing paper, new flat brushes, a made medium, and of course, the canvas itself. I started creating the stencil using my light box, super handy. But if you don't have one, no worries, you can totally do this with a window and some good old sunlight. Then came the fun part, transferring the design onto the canvas. My daughter jumped in to help, and let me tell you, she was a natural. We worked together, getting every detail just right. Because who better to help bring a goddess to life than the goddess herself? Now that the stencil was all set, it was time to start painting. First I laid down a layer of jello ochre across the entire canvas. This step is key, not only does it keep the pen lines from fading away, but it also creates a warm undertone that gives the whole prince that rich ancient feel. Once that was dry, I moved on to the base colors. This is where things really start to take shape, no shadows or highlight just yet, but you can already see the figures coming to life. I wanted to stay true to the classic Egyptian style, so I stuck with a palette of yellow ochre, browns, turquoise, red and a touch of purple for some visual variations. Using acrylic paints, I focused on those iconic, bold colors that you see in the ancient Egyptian art. The yellow ochre and browns gave that timeless, sandy desert vibe, while the turquoise and red added a pop of life and energy. The purple, well, that is just a little creative twist to keep things interesting. With the base colors down, it was time to really bring this painting to life by adding lights and shadows. Here's where things get interesting. I decided to make my daughter the light source. So, as my wife and I are looking at her, the light illuminates our faces, while our backs fade into shadow. I also made sure the light hits our cat's head just right, making her look even more like the all-powerful Bastet. And the temple in the background? I darkened that a lot, to make sure the focus stays on us and our divine little one. For the shadows, I didn't just rely on black to darken the cello ochre. Instead, I used a couple of different browns to add depth and keep things visually interesting. This way, the shadows don't just feel flat, they have texture and warmth, like the ancient Egyptian art that inspired this piece.
If you enjoyed this painting process, you might want to check out another video on my channel where I painted three traditional Japanese flowers in a modern style. It's a totally different vibe, but just as fun. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more creative adventures. My name is Daniel Columna, and I will see you very soon. Adiós.